Matt Thomas here for Extra, standing outside the Cameron House in Toronto, awaiting the arrival of Fred Phelps's Westboro Baptist Church. They're in town to protest Alistair Newton's play, The Pastor Phelps Project. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Fred Phelps, Fred Phelps is one of the world's most notorious homophobes. Listen up, you liar. There is no such thing as freedom of religion or speech in this evil country. We know unless you are a fag or a fag enabler. This violent country is trying to close down our church because we won't bow down to fag. Their whole entire church is basically 100 members, which is, you know, dick all, and 80% of those members are all one family. It's basically just a bunch of bigots. Uh, Angry people. Yeah, just. using religion as a, as a, as a way of uh, venting. And so I think if we all get together like this, uh, you know, people go, what the hell's going on here? And then they realize what it was all about. I think the, the, it spreads more awareness of just how much of a, a huge joke. It, it, it really is. And to come and tell us that we're all sinners because we support people and their choice of sexuality is completely ridiculous. Well, actually, I've been practicing this. I've been practicing what I would say to Fred Phelps if I ever was to meet him. And I think, ironically, it would be a thank you of sorts because I feel like the louder he gets, the better we look. You know, the more, the more he stands on his mountain of bigotry and intolerance and screams to the world, God hates fags, the stronger our message is, which is tolerance. I think people are here because they absolutely disagree with what he's doing, what he stands for, and we're just speaking out against him. He doesn't even have to show up for us to be here and support the gay community. The amount of people that showed up tonight is a good sign that, you know, that the gay movement is still strong and that, you know, there's still um, issues to fight. And this kind of protest proves that, you know, we're not just complacent anymore, right? That we're still there fighting for issues that still attack the gay community. People are too busy laughing and cheering to hold their breath on whether or not Fred Phelps and his Webster Baptist Church minions will show up here in Toronto today. What I'm really loving about this protest today is, as you see looking around at the signs and just talking to the people, this is a spontaneous community response to a perceived act of potential hatred. Um, and you can see the people here are part of Toronto's artistic community, they're part of our neighborhood, they're part of our queer community, they're part of the diversity that is Toronto. And that's something that we should be proud of. I'm also proud of our police officers who are protecting our right to, to pr protest peacefully here tonight. Well, Fred Phelps and his creepy minions are a no-show here in Toronto. You know what? We couldn't be more pleased because the, our queer community and queer supporters came out in full force with funny signs and great attitudes, and nobody really cares whether he showed up or not because the point was to make a statement, and that statement is that any time you threaten us, even if you don't show up, we will be back next time because there's no room for homophobia here in our city.